On Saturday, March 8, the Coast Guard of St. Martin received an emergency call from a ship which was believed to be 50 miles off the coast of St. Martin. The vessel had 16 undocumented Haitian nationals who were on their way to St. Martin. The Coast Guard ship Puma found the ship still in water as there was no fuel for the vessel to move. The St. Martin Coast Guard requested assistance from the American Coast Guard. According to the passengers on board, they were told they were entering St. Martin legally. The passengers are presently staying with family and friends and are looking for ways to purchase a ticket to go back to Haiti. On Tuesday, head of the Border and Mobile Control Unit, Geronimo Juliet, provided an update on the case. Well, what's the latest on now is the still, you know, with some family members that are here on the island and some other friends that they know. And um, the Haitian community is helping us tremendously because we have a very good relationship with the Haitian community. And um, the, one of the leaders is Guerrier Gaston, is um, very helpful and they're giving us all the cooperation that we need so that these people can repatriate through the country as soon as possible. Now, can you give us an indication of um, are they in holding cells or are, where are they now? No, um, we, don't, we didn't put them in holding cells, seeing the fact that we feel that those people were the victims, you know, and um, the boat was also in a deplorable situation and uh, we couldn't leave them on the boat, seeing the fact that the boat is taking water and constantly have to be pumped, which is causing a threat in the harbor. So the our inspection is doing the utmost to make sure that the boat stay drifting, that um, it don't sink, that can cause problem and harm to the um, the Great Bay Harbor. Okay, and the, the the nationals now are where are they staying? Well, at the moment they're staying by some friends, you know, and people that we know in the um, Haitian community. That is like we said in the beginning, um, helping us tremendously to make sure that people getting something to eat, drink and then preparing them to get the tickets so they can leave to, to the country. How long does a process like this usually happen? Well, it depends for each individual because what somebody can get the, the, the amount of money is faster and the other one, no. So we try to see how far or fast we can do that so we can send them back. Also, just to be clear, um, St. Martin does not pay for the ticket. Well, um, it depends with kind of situation. We are seeing first what can be done and then from there we're going to see or we can still assist them to send them back. Okay. There is no estimated time as to how long these Haitian nationals will stay on St. Martin. Reporter for St. Martin Newsroom, I'm Andrew Dick.